back. <laughs> Ajax recently turned four years old and he wanted a Banjo Kazooie theme party. We love doing theme parties with food and decor and activities at the theme. For his first birthday party, we did a Studio Ghibli Miyazaki Totoro party. And his second birthday, we did a Godzilla party. And his third birthday was a little bit of a pandemic black hole, but I think it was... What does that mean? It means that I don't remember much about it, but it was vaguely Mario themed. Uh, I don't have footage from the first and third birthday parties, but here's a little clip of the Godzilla party. Yeah. Yeah, did you see Mothra? <laughs> this year, Ajax insisted on a Banjo Kazooie theme party, which is good with me because it's one of my all time favorite franchises. I shared some early work in progress images on Twitter, which went semi viral with both Sarashu and Grant Kirkhope, the composer of Banjo Kazooie, shared the images. Now, Grant is one of my game dev idols, and it's always a good ego boast when he shares one of my posts, which he's actually done quite a few times. The images made it far enough to reach another fabricator who goes by the name Much Games, who was doing another banjo build for his YouTube racetrack series. And as luck would have it, he also happens to be LA based and actually worked with Chris on several projects for Disney theme parks in Asia. But Much Games was nice enough to loan us some of the cops for the party, so that's where both Gruntilda and the trees came from. No, 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 no. We decorated the backyard as some of the levels from in game. So our garden was Spiral Mountain, our jacuzzi was Treasure Trove Cove, Ajax's treehouse was Click Clock Wood, and his climbing dome was Bubble Gloop Swamp. No, no, it's not. It is. Which was your favorite? Which is your favorite? Everything. Everything? That's nice. Uh -huh. So, we did a bunch of different activities based on mini games from inside Banjo Kazooie. Ajax's favorite was probably the Jinjo hunt. Uh, he went outside early before the party and found a Jinjo and then demanded that he finish out the whole hunt then and there. So, no one even got to see that except him. And then he thought that there's a Jinjo bunny. I don't know if bunny. Yeah, Mama put them there. What'd you find? Oh, where'd you find it? Where'd it come from? I got two now. How many gingos do you think there are? I think there's five gingos. I don't know. Look around. Thank you. You think you can find three more gingos? No, there's no, there's definitely no gingos in Mama's what? office. But in your office, what? A thing is in your office. I mean, what are we doing in there? Well, we're gonna hang them up today. <laughs> Two more gingos? Yeah. 
Yeah. Why don't you put the gingers you found down on this table? Which one's your favorite? I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. We also had a Mayhem Temple inspired Nerf gun fight, which was a good time up until the moment he shot his dad directly in the eye. In retrospect, four years old is probably too young for Nerf guns, but uh, live and learn, I guess. So. Why is the older good for Nerf guns? Four years old is good for Nerf guns? Yeah, I don't think so. I think you're too young. We also gifted him Simon based on the Bubble Gloop Swamp's Tip Top Fire Challenge, and he was actually pretty good at that, probably from playing Banjo Kazooie, honestly. That was pretty good. Thanks for joining us. Woo! Next episode, I think we're going to start digging into some actual games. We're either going to play Turtles in Time and Shredder's Revenge or Banjo. We're going to play Shredder. I know. You're, did you have fun with it? Yeah, you got to play the game it was based on Mama's favorite game, Turtles in Time. Yeah, I do like Crane. Grant Kirkhope, <laughs> the composer, shared. <laughs>